Well, Charlemagne the guy got a lot of hip hop fans talking online over the last few days after he named what he believed to be the four most influential rappers of all time. His list in no particular order goes as follows. He said Kanye West, Jay-Z, Tupac, and Lil Wayne are the four most influential rappers of all time. Notably missing in this, Charlamagne was asked about Chief Keef. And, and Charlamagne had this response on his podcast. No, you know why I don't put Chief Keef in there? Because Chief didn't influence the world. He influenced a sound of a region. These four people that I named literally influence people all over the world. So it is worth noting that Charlemagne is older and would have missed the in entire Chief Keef wave like in the club. I know he's interviewed Chief Keef and all that, but he I don't think he would say he was outside when Chief Keef was really moving and shaking. I was in high school and college when Chief Keef was like at his peak pinnacles. And be clear, that Finally Rich album, I believe is one of the most important albums in the last 15 years. I mean, if you just think about some of the records that Chief's been a part of, obviously we all know what I don't like did and then Love Sosa followed that. And then there's a bunch of bangers on that Finally Rich album like Kobe. I mean, they, they hate being sober. And then you, you turn around and, and you look at two records like what Finito and Ernie have been able to do. Chief Keith has had an influential, in, like a big one impact on culture in America with the, these records, right? He, he has, he's changed the style of drill music from the Chicago perspective. They have been as prevalent, you know, a sound as about any other city not named Atlanta over the last decade and some change and Memphis maybe, but yes, they've been right there with drill music. And that sound was spearheaded, that style to, to be yourself, the way Chief Key was being himself, that was spearheaded by him. But I don't think Charlemagne's wrong with his conclusion. As influential as Chief Keith was in the last decade and some change, it does not compare to the four people that was named previously by Charlemagne. Tupac Shakur, the late great, literally was a soundtrack of people's lives. Continues to be that 25 years later on some of those records from, from Pac. He continues to inspire people to want to be him, to want to rap like him, to want to live like him. And he ain't even been around in a very long time. You got to note that Kanye West, Kanye West made it cool to be that nerd that loves hip hop, but was never respected in any room, All right? He has changed the way people think. You understand what I'm saying? The way, the way engineers produce, the way producers produce, the way engineers listen to sonically what's cool in hip hop. Lil Wayne, Lil Wayne to me has made and challenged rappers to be better with bars, period. He owned an era. He owned the mixtape era, period. From 2006, seven on up, Lil Wayne owned it. And he had phenomenal bodies of work to go with it. He controlled an era, an important era in hip hop. And I saved Jay-Z for last. And there's a by design. Jay inspired Ye and Wayne and helped them become better versions of themselves. And I'm sure if the great Pac were alive, Jay would have had some type of inspiration on him as well. Jay has done wonders for the business of hip hop, Jay has done wonders for pretty much every artist. Jay has helped in some form or fashion, whether they know it or not, by just telling his story, by just still being here today. Some of the things Jay has fought for behind the scenes with hip hop artists that helped them with streaming. They helped them. People don't even understand how impactful Jay has been. So yes, Chief Keith has made some phenomenal bodies of work. But he didn't have artists attached to him. Tupac, for whatever, for good or for bad, had Biggie attached to him at the hip because of their rap beef. And they're, they're, you know, they're challenging themselves to be better lyrically. Obviously, Kanye West has produced a long list of artists and helped them out, including Chief Keith, by the way, hopping on it I don't like. 
Wayne's got Drake. Drake's probably one of the biggest, if not biggest artists in the world today. And Jay had Ye. So as much as I love Chief, I don't think Charlemagne's wrong in his opinion. Now let's play and have some fun with this. Let's open up a fifth spot for the list. Let's say there are five people that are the most influential in hip hop's history. Do you give that spot to Drake? Do you feel like with putting Wayne on the list, you've already covered your bases over there on that side? Do you give it to a younger talent, like a little baby, like an NBA young boy? Who do you believe five to 10 years down the line will vehemently take the fifth spot as hip hop's top five most influential figures of all time? My guess, and this is crazy to say because Drake's one of the biggest rappers in the biggest artists in the world will be NBA young boy will take that fifth spot. And here's why I believe it. This ain't about talent in music, whatever you think about young boys music. This is about changing music and young boys doing just that. Whether you know it or not, NBA young boy re reportedly is closing in on signing a new label deal. For right now though, he's independently dropping music. He's finished his deal with Atlantic Records. Young Boy continues to drop music and his main way of dropping it is YouTube. Right now, the streaming rights for YouTube, because it's a free platform, are significantly, like let's just put it like this. Artists make a lot less money on YouTube when people listen to their music versus if you go grab your phone and listen to uh, your favorite artist's music on Spotify, Apple, Tidal. These are paid platforms. You have to have a subscription to be on those platforms. With YouTube, you don't have to have a subscription. Oftentimes, you don't even have to have an account to enjoy some of your favorite artist's music. You make a lot more money on the streaming platforms versus a free platform in YouTube. YouTube is gonna likely change the way that they allow people to listen to music in years to come because of what NBA Youngboy is doing. His fans are consuming his bodies of work. He treats his music like daily vlogs and fans want to know what the heck NBA young boy is doing day in, day out. And he's dropping music at a pace. He's updating people on his life frequently with the way he drops music. My guess is that in four to five years time, young boy will be one of the most influential artists hip hop's ever seen, because I think he's going to change the way we look at YouTube. I think he's going to change it. I think he's going to make YouTube up there, Annie, create subscription-based services, more of them. I know they got one, but even more, take it to the next level to make so artists can make more money on their music. I think he's got a chance to change the entire streaming era. So I would say an artist like Young Boy will be that fifth spot. And I don't want to leave out a guy like Soulja Boy, who I believe has very, been very influential as well in just everything, all right? So y'all let me know who that fifth spot will go to if... Jay, Ye, and Wayne and Tupac, according to Charlemagne, are the four most influential. Do you agree, disagree? Talk to your boy. Comment section, Facebook, share it out. I'm out.